we have a thread that is tied to this point and the other end is given a velocity v0 so it will of course start wrapping around this cylinder we need to find how long it will take to move along the plane until it strikes again the cylinder so when let's it starts here and let's say it ends here so in how much time it will completely wrap itself so while it's moving one thing we know is it's this line is always forming a tangent which means the tension on this particle is always directed perpendicular to its velocity in other words the velocity will not change so during the whole motion this v0 will remain constant and this thread will be perpendicular to that and also this thread will always form a tangent to the circle so after some time let's say it looks like this so it has uh, already wrapped around to an angle theta and as discussed it will still form the tangent and it's moving perpendicular to that that thread with the velocity v0 so in a small time let's say the thread moves further by an angle d theta so you can see this is by the geometry so because these are the tangents so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta and if it further wraps around by angle d theta then this angle is also d theta because again this is the new tangent so theta plus d theta is going to be theta plus d theta and let's say the length the new length initial length is l not and the new length is l then this length the what it has moved by moving to d theta is l d theta so l d theta it has further wrapped onto the cylinder we need to find the total distance traveled by this particle so a small distance traveled is l d theta so let's start from there so ds is l d theta and l is initial total length minus how whatever is wrapped so initial was l not and wrapped length is r into theta so it's the arc and arc length is r into theta so we'll write l as l not minus r theta into d theta so now we will integrate this because we have only the terms of theta here so initially the theta is of course zero and finally when it is completely wrapped the theta becomes again the arc length divided by radius that is l not by r so range of theta will be from zero to l not by r so if you integrate it you will find the value of s and actually yeah they have us the time taken so time taken is s by v not so we do that and get our answer